did you ever read reviews about yourself when you i guess or i mean I read, now, the re- or I read the reviews you... i read maybe too many more than i should have but they were also good like it i was kind of scouring to see like somebody say something bad about it you know <laughs> I wasn't interested from the point of view, like, oh, this is going to be great for my career. Like, are they going to say anything about me? How is this going to impact me? It was more like, look at what we did. Look at what we were a part of and look at how people are responding to it. And it was incredibly fulfilling. And I think partially even the reason it was more so for me because I had a scar tissue from Hocus Pocus. Because when Hocus Pocus came out, nobody really liked it and nobody went to go see it. And, you know. But and now it's the making, the, but the making of that film was the only other time where I was so excited and felt like so jazzed to have been a part of it and just had so much fun. The experience was so great, and I loved the material and loved my character and loved everything about it. It comes out and nobody gives a shit, and that was like it lasted with me for a long time. So I, I think the part of the reason where I was like happy to pour over all of the stuff from American Beauty because. It was finally going the other way. Right. Like something that I loved that much and cared about that much was being received initially in the way that I felt about it. So it was an ego booster. It was also a little disconcerting, but it was definitely an ego booster.